I just got a brand new knitting machine. This is the 32 pin mushroom house machine. There we go. I'm so sorry. This is a 32 pin mushroom house and it is made by Centro. I just got this off of Amazon. It was about $75 after I paid the tax. It's a cute little machine. You'll notice it does have the same tensioner as the Centro and Jamets. But I really do like, on the bottom here, it has four feet and four suction cups. The bottom of this is better than the other Centro and Jamet machines. It seems to be really secure, especially when you're on a tabletop. And this is what it looks like from the front. And here's the cutest part about this little mushroom house. Look at the lid. It's not just adorable. And of course, you can do plain knitting and tube knitting. There's notches in the side. Not quite sure what those are for. But there she is. And I'm going to be knitting a scarf. I thought I would hop on here and show you guys my cute little machine. So... I am using Red Heart Yarn. Let's see. Boutique Unforgettable. I really like these blues. It's a color title. I need to move. There's a cord under here messing things up. Okay. So, I have played around with this machine a little bit. Trying to make snowmen and other stuff. And I did kind of struggle a little bit with thicker yarn. Like... I can't use big twists. I can't use any weight four. Like all I've been able to use is a weight three or below. I'm gonna go in the tightest tension hole since this is pretty loose. But overall, I really do kind of like this machine. Like I said, I've only had it for about a week or so, but it is just so cute. I couldn't resist. And from my understanding, this is a relatively new machine. Correct me if I'm wrong. I haven't seen it until recently in some of the knitting groups I'm on. Of course, I decided to go live and then my yarn's a big tangle. Oh, tie this together real quick. I'm sorry. Um, what have you guys been working on? I posted snowmen on my page that I sell stuff on. Oh, about a week ago now. And I have sold 60 of them. So I have been cranking out snowmen like crazy. I hope that you guys have been having good luck this season too. I thought that I would hop on here and make a scarf and then I will upload a video later on showing like the different thicknesses of the different machines. I thought that might be kind of cool. Now, usually at this point, when I've got it started pretty well, I will put the lid on. But since I'm live and you guys probably want to see what I'm doing, I will just leave the lid off. But it does look so very cute with the lid. Let me push this down a little bit. Uh, it's probably kind of boring just to sit here and watch me knit a scarf, but I thought I'd hop on to answer any questions you may have or anything like that. One of the disadvantages about this machine is there's absolutely no row counter. And so I've been experimenting with different lengths and things such as that, but um, I definitely suggest if you want to be super duper su um, precise and stuff to get a clicker or something like that. Do I like this better than the Centro 22? Well, to be quite honest with you, I do not have the Centro 22, so I can't really answer that question too fairly. I do have 
the Addy 22 pin. And I like the size of this. Does that make any sense? Like, I enjoy the size tube that this makes better than the 22 because it's not quite as big as a 46 or a 48, but it's a very good thickness. So to answer that question, I would say yes. And I do like this better than my bigger Centro because it's a lot smoother. Yes, Jimmy Hogs, I did see your message. One thing I do like about having the lid is especially when I'm working on a surface like this, I can just hold the top of the lid to steady the machine. And the lid does have a little slot, while the machine has a little slot right here. The yarn can still go in when you have the lid on, so see it goes through there pretty well. Well, this is a weird angle to knit at, but it goes there pretty well, like that. You kind of have to twist it to take it off. I do enjoy also, this machine's pretty quiet. I haven't had any issues with it being too noisy. I think that this size machine would be good for making little kid hats like um, anywhere from newborns to a year old just because I've seen hats that people make on the 40 pin and I think that they're just a little bit too chunky so I will be experimenting with a pattern on here I'll turn this inside out here while I'm on here I did ask this question in my Facebook group but I know not all of you guys are in my Facebook group um, would you guys have any specific tutorials in mind? I've had a couple of requests for a poncho. I had a couple of requests for a Santa doll, which I already did. I just thought I'd throw this out here on the live so I can see what you guys would like to see. I know with the holidays coming up, everybody's trying to make some nice handmade stuff for gifts and whatever else. scoot this over a little bit I do like that this machine has a tensioner my 22 pin it's kind of hard to keep the tension the most consistent just because mm -hmm. there is no tensioner and I can't believe oh my goodness I am almost up to 600 members in my Facebook group um, I am so happy you guys have joined me on there and I look forward to seeing what all you can create. I am very thankful for all of you that take the time to watch my videos and interact with my content. Um, it means a lot to me that I am able to help you and inspire you with whatever you decide to create. And I hope that this next year we can create bigger and better things than ever before. So we'll see what we get into. Now what's very interesting here is, like I said, I haven't been able to use any thicker yarns on this machine, but if you look on here, this is a weight four, but look how thin this is. Just for comparison, I'll show you, this is Red Heart and this is also a weight four. Look how much thicker the red is. I don't know how they're claiming that's the same weight. 
Very interesting. It's almost like when you go to the store to go buy clothes, you know, in one brand you might be a size four, but in the other brand you're a size six. And I don't know, but both of those yarns are Red Heart. So I don't know where that distinction really comes from. Let's get this up here. Well, I had a craft fair this past weekend and I took maybe 40 hats, about 35 headbands. I took 21 snowmen. I had a couple of snowman scarves and Santa scarves. And let's see, I sold seven snowmen. I sold a bunch of hats, some headbands. It was a pretty decent craft fair, but at that one, my booth location kind of messed me up a little bit. I was pretty close to the door and so people don't want to buy from the first booth that they come to and they're like oh it's okay i just love your stuff i'll come back and then by the time they came back they had just spent all their money so um yeah that's kind of stinky oh how do i keep track of rows on this machine well i haven't really absolutely needed to for any project i've worked on with this machine so far um but since there is no counter, what I have done in the past is do maybe four or five rows of waist yarn and then I count out 20 rows. I knit 20 rows and I count every single row and then I cast off with waist yarn again. And then what I do is I measure those 20 rows and I figure out how long the piece would be. And then like if I was working on this project here, I would spread it out, take my tape measure and measure clear up into the body of the machine from out here. And that's how I would come up with my approximation of different rows. It's not an exact science, but it's better than just completely guessing. That is a very good question. And even on machines that do have row counters, I do suggest doing that once or twice. That is called a tension swatch. And with that, you can kind of guess how many rows you need for different projects that you want to do. See, I have not had a single dropped stitch or skipped stitch on here so far. I, At first, I thought it was a little cocky of the company to make a lid. I'm like, man, a lid on a knitting machine. The second you mess up, you're going to have to take the lid off and try to fix everything. But as far as dropped and tucked stitches, I have not had any issues so far. So I'm very lucky with that. I just think this little machine is so cute. Um, after I end the live, I will link um, the Amazon link to it. Yeah, I'm trying to get a bunch of different knitting machines just so I can make more videos. I have the Addy King. I have two Addy 22 pins. I obviously have this little mushroom house, which is the 32 pin. And then I have the big Centro. So... And this next year, I'm hoping to buy an innovations machine. I'm hoping to buy a singer machine. I just want to buy a whole bunch of different ones because I want to be able to reach all of you guys and help you out with the equipment that you have. My first knitting machine I bought a couple years ago, and it was a Centro. And let me tell you, I just hated it because... At that time, I didn't know how to care for the machines, and I just tore that poor thing up. I ended up returning it, and I bought an Addy. This was all within 20 days, and I was too, like, confident to really look at tutorials or anything, and so I made all of these hats, and oh man, I was so proud of these hats, but they were one layer, one layer thick, um awful tension they just look terrible but I remember being so excited 
And eventually I did lower my ego and seek some instruction. And yeah, I don't know why I told you all of that, but it's very interesting to see how everybody really learns these machines. There is a definite learning curve involved. Let's get this back over here. I'm creeping back a little bit. <laughs> It is, I've been working on my um, Addy today, and so it's hard to adjust back to the sandal. Hope I see we got a chat. What does that say? Let's see. What's the difference between this machine and the Addy? Okay, well, first of all, the Addy company is based in Germany, and they have two different size machines. They have the 22 pin, and they have the 46. And so the difference in this one, the first main difference, is that this one has 32 pins. So the circumference of the circle here is a different size. See, I just have my Addy 22 sitting right here. The circle on the 22 is a lot smaller. And then the Addy has this kind of clasp thing that you put your yarn through, and it has this row counter and here there's no clasp but there is a tensioner the addies do not have a tensioner um so the main difference is the size and the style is a bit different too the addy is kind of the preferred machine that's like driving around in your cadillac and the Centro is like the dependable farm truck it'll get you where you're going it just doesn't look as pretty it may not last as long and so, I don't know, that's my best description of that, just off the top of my head. Now, some of the Centro machines do have a row counter, but this size does not. I'm getting kind of close to the end of my yarn here. This looks like it's going to make a pretty decent sized scarf. I'm excited. This will be my first scarf on this machine. Yeah, a 32 pin. Um... I just found out about this pretty recently myself. If you search on Amazon Mushroom House Knitting Machine, it should pop up. It was like $80, I think. It depends on which seller. There were two or three sellers that were selling it. And I have been using this to make quite a few snowmen. Um, since there's no row counter, I can't really give a row count. But what I would do is I'd knit until the work touched the floor here. And that made a pretty decent snowman. Now, one thing I noticed about this Mushroom House machine is there's no branding on it. There's no stickers or anything telling you where it's from. Um, but the instructions in the box did say it was a Centro. So, that's what I'm kind of going off of with that information. And it does have the classic Centro style handle and the same tensioner. I will be um, busy this weekend, so I will have to make some more content next week and into Thanksgiving with this machine. I will still be on here to answer your comments and stuff, though. 
Would a 32 pin be too big for baby hats? Um, I don't think so. I do agree with you that the 22 pin does make pretty small hats. Um, I did a set this weekend for a lady. She wanted it for a five month old little infant. And I made a reversible hat. And let's see. I think I did make that hat on this machine actually. And then I made little hand warmers on my 22 and she said it fit like a dream. And again, there's no row counter, so I kind of like just estimated and I did down to like maybe here with the top color and then I went until it touched the floor with the lining and brim color and she said it just fit him wonderfully. So I'm going to say yes, this would work pretty well for baby hats. I know a lot of people also make baby hats on the Addy King and on like the bigger size Centro, but I've never had much luck with that. We're getting pretty close to the end here. Yeah, no problem, Melody. I appreciate you asking questions. It gives me something to talk about. Yeah, I just happened upon this machine by mistake, really. I was on Facebook and I saw that somebody posted the link to it. And so I followed the link and it didn't lead anywhere. I don't know if the seller ran out or what happened. But ever since then, I kind of have my eye out. Now, um, I don't know where all you guys are from, but where I'm at, Amazon does offer some two-day shipping. And I was really bummed they did not offer two-day shipping on this. But it came relatively fast. They said it wouldn't be here until December 15th. And I got it maybe a week after I ordered it. So I was pleasantly surprised when this little guy showed up at my door. Make sure this doesn't tangle. Well, I hate when you get to the end of a thing of yarn and all it wants to do is tangle. Oh, that was not good. There we go. I got a little knot in my yarn here, so I'm going to make sure it goes okay. Sometimes you got to assist, you know. Out of all the machines I own, this one is the most temperamental about what type of yarn you use. This is really the only type of yarn that I've found works. Like, you need really, really thin yarn. And most of my yarn's pretty thick, so I will have to be looking for thinner yarn if I want to make projects on here. Keep having to pull my yarn away from the tensioner. It's wanting to bunch up. Um, after I do finish this scarf, I am going to cast off and I will get my handy dandy little tape measure and show you the width of the tube and everything like that, just in case you are considering getting this machine. I do plan on posting a full on like critical review of this machine later on, but I couldn't wait. I just had to go live and show it to you guys. I think it's so neat. Oh my, got that big tangle. I think what I'm gonna do is go ahead back to one and call that good because I'm sick of fighting this tangle. Okay, try to get enough here untangled to cast off with. Yeah, I really look forward to getting to experiment with this mushroom house a little bit more. I really wish I would have had this 
when pumpkins were still a big thing because this would make a pretty good sized pumpkin. Like my pumpkins I made on the king size I thought were way too big. And of course my ones on the 22 pin were pretty small, but I feel like this would be a happy medium. I do plan on the end of the scarf putting cute little pom-poms on, but I have to make pom-poms. I've been kind of lazy with that, and I haven't made pom-poms in a little while. Oops. Okay. I think overall, I would rate the Mushroom House... Probably hmm, three and a half stars out of five just because of how picky it is with yarn. You got to have what it likes or it's not going to work with you at all. In my extended video review, I am going to compare this to different scarves I made on the different machines. I just don't have them with me. I had a craft fair, and so they're still loaded up from that. My other scarves are. This made a pretty good length. That's a lot of length for one skein. Okay, find my little cast on tail here. Oh, I am getting so many requests to join my Facebook group. I'm so excited. I love having you guys in that group. Um... For those of you who do want to join, it's called the Addy Queens Videos and More. I do have it where you have to request to join just to, you know, keep some scam out of there and people that shouldn't be in there. <laughs> you know how that can go. All right, now that I finished that, I am going to leave these tails out for where I want to attach my pom poms. We'll give her a good stretch here. I'm going to lay this out, and we'll measure and see what kind of length we're looking at. Not length, width, I'm sorry. So, we'll call it an even four inches. I think that's pretty fair to say, four inches. Um... I do enjoy this type of thickness. It's not so thick that it's just going to be bothering you. But it's not thin that you'll be cold either. Um, looking at the Mushroom House though. Um, it came with three things of yarn just like any other Centro would. And it did not come with round needles which surprised me. My other Centro machines did. I do like the way the suction cups are on this one better. Um, they seem to stay on better than my big Centro. And these little feet were not attached. Um, they came and they were stickers. And so um, it was kind of hard to find that. Oh, you found it? You just say 32 pin knitting machine. Yeah, that's probably a good way to make it pop up. <laughs> yeah, I think it is so cute. The little lid is just adorable. It looks so cute sitting up there with my other machines. I love it. I would like to know. See, it has a slot in the side here, here, here. I don't know if that was just for decoration since they said it's a mushroom or what that is. I kind of checked, and a yarn needle does fit in there, but it doesn't, like, stay in there very well. So, I don't know what it is. Oh, maybe, like, that. That's in there pretty well. Put your yarn needle on the side? I don't know. Interesting. <laughs> anyway, um, that's all I really have for you guys. I just wanted to come on here and show you what I got. I'm excited to play around with it some more. 
So um, thank you for everyone who joined me on here. I need to be better about scheduling live streams. I know it's pretty sporadic and just not planned. That's kind of how I roll a little bit. So um, thank you guys so much for watching and joining me on here. Um, good luck if you do decide to buy this machine. And happy crafting, guys. Thank you so much.